I, I, I'm barely starting my day right now, and I'm already mad. Just looking at this Leeds player. Poor Ian Pavetta just gets shipped out as well. This guy isn't even given a chance by Daniel Fark or anybody, and he's cooking. So I could just have people in my chat talking crap for 24 hours straight. QPR fans talking crap to me. Sorry for yelling, everyone. Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Poor Man Road to Glory. I, I, I'm still so upset about that result. So because of that, I changed my mind, man. Uh, today, I'm not going to use the Leeds players, man. I'm going to go into champs with all the Leeds players and lose a million and one games. This is not is this this is not going to happen. Okay, I need I need a day break from the from the Leeds boys, man. Am I in in freaking damn near May of 2024? Am I going to use am I going to use that Dembuz that I've had for six months on my account? Okay. So this is going to be the squad we start with today. We are going to obviously get to spamming some packs. We have a good chunk of packs ready. We played a couple of champs games. We're two and one in champs. Uh, objectives wise, I don't think we have too, too much to claim yet. Just the uh, the champs gameplay and whatnot. But that's okay. I mean, the more packs, the better, right? So we did our grind to update you guys. Sorry that I went on a little bit of a leads rant and then just rage removed all the leads players from my uh, champs setup for the for the weekend. But like I said, I just needed, I need a bit of a break. Super irritated at the at the players. Super irritated at Daniel Fark's lack of willingness to make changes when they're needed. At halftime, he should have he should have hooked Piro. Piro has a fantastic shot. And honestly, he could have probably scored that one shot that the keeper dove low and made that huge save. Okay. But other than a good shot, that's all he has. And it's infuriating um, at times to, to, to see the lack of creativity, the lack of 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 willingness to to get shots off from from different areas other than standing in front of the net i don't know i'm just i'm just done man melier also did my tits in that game oh right yeah let's update you guys on the spreadsheet too for those of you guys that are i see i got a bit of a rant so we ended the live team of the season i was going to do this yesterday but kind of forgot at a 12 million almost 12 million coin pack value with i i would say it's fair to say our best pack poll would have had to be Loftus Cheek, right? Out of all those days of grinding, we'd say that Loftus Cheek is the best pull, right? At about 300k. So not the craziest in terms of luck, especially considering we're opening anywhere from 100 to 200 packs a day. So I'm hoping that the Prem team of the season is a little bit better. I mean, yesterday we only got 87 packs opened at a million coins, but we actually, I would almost argue we did pretty good yesterday, right? That's where we're at right now in terms of the... Um, uh, the Prem team of the season and then we're gonna have this updated as well as we go So the first page is kind of an overview of every live event Prem live team of the season and then after that we'll have the, of course the Bundesliga and then La Liga and and all of those goodies, but um The total is at over a thousand packs open and just about 13 million coins in pack value still no massive I would argue no massive team of the season packed and actually no massive icon packed really either, right? I think Yaya Toure is probably the the the, the best pull we got <clears throat> in terms of what I want. I'm not completely under the weather. I haven't taken any uh, meds today. I desperately wish I could give this to Nepenthes. Nah, there's no way. There's dude. Look at this card. What do you what it, what chem style do you even give him? His stats are sick. I mean, he doesn't have any shooting play styles. Oh, let's go play a game, boys. Wow, he's 650k. In this market, that's like a 4 million coin card. I guess for a wide player, 89 strength is kind of cracked as it is. Hunter might not be a bad shout. Get him to 94 sprint speed, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how many finishing chances he's going to get because he's going to play he's going to play right wing. He's ba this is basically the way I play 4231. This is the this is the setup. It's basically a 4334. Uh, the offensive way that we play 4-2-3-1, right? So this is, that's the exact position he's going to be in. So will a boost in finishing matter? I don't know. Should I just do this Yaya Toure, guys? Bro, this Yaya is going to be better than the 88 Yaya I have. What's, what's better than having one good Yaya? Having two beast Yayas. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, his dynamic image sucks, but whatever. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And on the menu, live coverage of the Champions Finals. What might we see today, wow. Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek, as always. Say a Toure plays alongside Wesley Snyder in central midfield. And leading the line today, Eric Cantona. Mbappe! Here is Nani. Cantona. 
What a goal, Eric Cantona. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that's a goal. Do need to finish off one of these chances. That is unbelievable. Good football. Good football. Good. Bro, this game can go f itself, man. Like these counterattacks are so stupid, man. Jonathan Cross. I'm fighting for my life here to score simple goals, guys. Let's go, Eric. What a bit of football that is. That's football. That's football. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Four shots for that guy, man. And he was he was freaking beating me, dude. Four shots. Alright. Back to the back to the PPs, boys. 5-1 Newcastle. Fair play. Four still. What the heck is my luck today? Hey, I can't lie. I mean, this is fantastic. I don't know. I just feel a Virgil coming, man. I think the luck today is crazy. So do we do an Encore Hero PP, guys? We still are chasing that, uh, I mean, the Fantasy FC Yaya and Fantasy FC Schneids. Hero PP is way behind the curve. Oh, I'm, I'm aware. I just desperately want that Fantasy Schneider. Let's look and see how the 91 squad would shape up here. Well, I guess we're committed to Rio now, boys. I mean, either way, we were going to do Rio for the past and present Leeds team, but I didn't think I was going to start building it until after team of the season. Armalika is going to wish this was his account. What? We were just talking about this card yesterday. Everybody that's packed her saying she's absolutely cracked. I, how, how are we even going to title today's uh, epi, man? What the heck? A 96 Shaw, a 94 Nani, a 94 Allison... Yeah, so she gets a super link because of the team of the season plus. All right. Rules are rules, my friends. Every new pack pool is a game. Holy God. Look at those shooting stats. Engine for sure. Am I playing squad battles to try to get another chance at Rafi? I probably should, huh? Is legendary still the worst experience of your life? Or is it is it is it uh, playable now? I used to be able to, without thinking, get five nothing wins against legendary it's a weird team kind of scared man this guy's team is not the usual meta dude oh my god <laughs> her name is bunny as well are you kidding me that's the greatest I, I love her so much i think guys gianni used to be our queen i think bunny might be the queen well, rules are rules. How the hell does Bunny miss that? Bunny! You're supposed to be the queen! Okay, we'll bring the real queen on. We'll bring Sam Kerr on. Sick football. Bro. Guys, I can't lie. We're kind of cooking right now. I, I mean, the only way I play this type of tiki-taka football is in clean gameplay. It might be uh, all three. I might be playing good football. Uh, I might be getting lucky with matchmaking. And I'm playing in clean gameplay. It's like the perfect storm right now. All right. Hell yeah, man. <clears throat> At least we can do for that F1 loving batch. Now that's what I call an eruption. Oh my god! I was hoping for a Ben White there, boys. I can't lie. HB with 20 gifted subs right on the money. It is another game, man. She's one foot two. Yeah, apparently she's super small. Did I open an 87 by two pack by accident? What the hell pack did I open? 
Oh, an 83 by two. Damn, that's a hell of a pack. 69 subs. Look at that. We got a sexual sub count Amen. for the day. Oh, I, Nick Norris ruined it. We're gonna be 69 subs for less than 30 seconds. That's about how, how long I last in bed. <laughs> Anyways, um, well, that's the start of 6 p.m. content. We just ticked over 6 p.m. content. <clears throat> it is a Saturday, so I'm very interested to see, do we get a mini release today? What exactly do EA give us? I'm gonna log out and log back in so that if they give us an objective, I'll be able to see it. Let's go see. Do they give us two Evos back to back? Oh my God. Team of the season protector. You get the boost in chem as well. Number of playstyle plus is one. Choose a player ready for the increased chemistry of Team of Season Plus, new abilities with Pink Pass Plus and Jockey Plus. Yo, turning Ampadu into a 92 Team of the Season is crazy. That's the Team of the Season that he deserves. I think I'm going to give him the left back boost though. Wait, hold on a second. Actually, how is this 92 rated? The thing is, is I'm very attached to this Ampadu. He has like two to 300 games played for me already. So I think I'm going to do him no matter what. The problem is, is I can put Ampadu in the other SBC. Dude. How horrendous is this card still? He's five star, five star, high, high work rates. This is not the ailing that I imagined because I told you guys I wanted to give Bill a proper sending off to give him a huge card. The backbone of this card is fantastic. High, high work rate, six, one, five star, five star. But then these stats for 87 rated with three play styles are so bad. Now I'm really upset. The 87 Yaya with a team of the season card look would have been amazing. Arsenal fans. I mean, we knew it was coming. Are you happy? Has anyone ever... Arsenal fans, this is a question for you guys. I don't mean to be rude here, but... Has anyone in the two, three years he's been at Arsenal... In the three, four years, he was back and forth to Real. Has anyone in the last seven years seen Amen. Martin Odegaard use his right foot ever? How have they given this? I mean, it's just because it's a team of the season. But how have they given this card a four-star weak foot? Make him like 96, 97 rated and reduce his weak foot to a one-star. And then give him those things which benefit you with having a weak, like only one foot. So Travella, I would have just given him a Travella plus. Tiki Taka is dope. Now, anyways, that's just me being boring, right? Because I'd, I'd love to see them do something like that. Ignoring that, I think he's a bit low rated. Hey, and I actually think these stats are not fair on his card at all. And the reason why I say this, these are the issues I have with the Premier League coming first. I told you guys this yesterday, but let me, it bears repeating. The biggest problem with the Premier League being first is because you get cards like this. This Martin Erdegaard should be 96, 97 rated. His dribbling and passing should be basically in the 99s. Now, if they made the Premier League the fourth or fifth team of the season that comes out, this card would have been 96 rated. You'll see. The Serie A will have some random random Serie A players that nobody in the chat knows. Serie A fans obviously know them. But anyways, you, you get my point. They'll have randoms that nobody really knows about in, in any big way that'll be 96 or 97 rated. Nevertheless, uh, I would assume he's very expensive too. Actually, not as bad as I expected, honestly. Um, 83 by 7. Ooh. One every two days is kind of ass. But anyways, 83 by 7 Premier League. Holy God. This is an IQ test SBC. What? Okay, 84 by 7. We get three of these a day. I'll be doing these. It's only one. I bet you it's an 86 squad. Huh? An 83 squad. Oh, I'm going to do all of them, guys. It's just, that's because I'm dumb, though. I kind of am pretty hyped up about the Premier League content, guys. Yeah, there's always going to be an IQ test SBC. Oh, they refreshed them. They're back, boys. You know what? We'll go play a game. It's been a little bit. We'll go get another game. I, I'm sure I'm going to contradict everything I've just said about trying to enjoy this game and having fun. But let me see. I'll do my best. This guy's gold Terstegen against me alone this year has probably made 300 saves. Not even kidding. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Good stuff. Let's go. The green crossbody from Ricardo, baby. A nice cutback. Oh, he tries to have... Let's go.
go. Let's go. Good football, my friends. Good football. All right, there's the game I owed you guys for that uh, Man City goalkeeper. That was the easiest game uh, against that guy that I've had probably all month. Diarrhea is like Hodor trying to hold back the hordes. <laughs> exactly, dude. While you're running... Well, God bless it. I owe you guys another game, I guess. Rules are rules. Hey, man. You go easy. What the hell is even that? I mean, bro, that Tiki Taka is next level. What a save, man. Let's go, baby. Good football. I did get the bounce back there, boys. I gotta be I gotta admit it, don't I? Okay, dude. I'm sorry, man. How are you just panic slide tackling winning the ball there? Awesome. I've conceded because of the same thing. You cannot tell me he just got a pen. Wow, bro. It's so scripted, man. It's so scripted, bro. It's so scripted. There we go. Thank God, man. The game forces these things to happen. You can't tell me otherwise. Guys, rules are rules. You gotta go. Rules, rules are rules. Rules are rules. I don't know what the hell. I, all these players have 95 to 99 finishing, and I can't score to save my life. Pen. King Leo. Let's go, Wes. <clears throat> GG. Dude, this guy loves a heavy tackle or a slide. Loves a heavy tackle or a slide tackle, doesn't he? Oh! <laughs> Gets Yaya his assist. King Leo's been cooking since September, boys. Let's go. Wait. 1-1. One, one. Nicholas Jackson shaved his head. He oh, dude. Nicholas Jackson is ready to cook now. His Van Der Sar made 12 saves. All in and around the six yard box. Look at those saves. He failed 70 tackles and only gave away two fouls. I repeat, that means he pressed tackle at my players, did not touch the ball 70 of the 80 times he did that and gave away two fouls all game. Let's do an 85 by seven. What the hell is this? What? <laughs> EA release realizing they can make billions and give us cards we love at the same time that's what I'm saying Nep. it's so great dude seven months down the road I can still use my day one favorite card in Yaya Toure or in Archie Gray is even that 91 Yaya a meta card compared to people's team of the year Sawas and team of the year De Bruyne's and team of the season De Bruyne's no but they're good enough Better than me just using an 87 Yaya or a 64 Archie Gray all year, right? I, I just, that's the aura that I want from this game, man. I just, they need to go even harder into that. Please do more, EA. Please do more. I beg. What the hell? St. Juiced. Well, there you go. I was saying hopefully the PP would be better. Oh, I might have to try him out. What the hell are those stats? Is this... I need to make sure it's the right one. Yeah, you're right. It is game time. Is he expensive because he's so fast? Dude. A 95 pace center back is 20k. <laughs> what? That's nuts. I, I mean, I guess he's kind of got to get in the Dutch team. 99 interceptions. 
92 heading, 99 defensive awareness, 93 standing tackle, 91 aggression, 86 strength, 99 jumping. I mean, that seems pretty damn good. The 79 composure is going to be a problem, though, isn't it, guys? Quick step is going to be crazy, yeah. But he accelerates quicker during an explosive sprint. He isn't explosive, so will that make him bad, you think, guys? To Lille. Joining me, Guy Mowbray, for commentary will be Sue Smith. And it's all about the what the, the Champions Finals here. Your thoughts on this? Guys, I think St. Juice is going to get cooked by R9. Terrible. That's bad gameplay. Bro, this is the worst gameplay I've ever seen in my life. So horrendous. Dear God. Oh my God. This is so bad. This is going to be a very frustrating game to play. This is horrendous. Bro. He doesn't even hit the target? The old boy is showing good width here. Found nicely and in. Thank you, Kaka. Should be should be three one, man. Kaka should have scored the other goal. There we go. Should be about five one right now. Is that a Johan Cruyff? Oh, well, he's just scored with Cruyff. My guy has a ninety-three pack pulled Cruyff on the bench. All right, I'm out. To take the lead. Oh my goodness. The crowd urging him to shoot. And another. Dude, I coughed up possession in my own third about 57 times from his Pele and Mbappe pressing every passing lane I had. I concede a goal because I'm freaking sitting there winning a tackle with Hullet and then I get insta-tackled back by his AI-controlled Mbappe. Like, I don't... How do people get their teams to play like this guy's team? I don't know. I have no idea. That's the only way you keep people playing this game. But uh, I, I feel like EA... I cannot. I cannot. I can't play another game, man. And it has to be a freaking Leicester player. Right now, as I'm watching Ipswich also get auto-promoted with Leicester instead of Leeds. No way. Oh my... Oh! Hull scored, boys! What? Hull scored, boys! What the hell? 3-3! Three, three. The faint dream is alive! Somehow! What the hell? Ready for this match. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is oh. Stuart Robson. Nice team, man. And it's all about our live Yaya Toure. Let's go, baby. Let's go, bunny. Let's go, bunny. Alonso. On to Drogba. This could be the equalizer. It's a goal. Toure. Can he put them in front? Yes, is the Whatever, dude. I think I just red timed that, guys. I can't complain about gameplay when I'm scoring a red time goal there. Wow. Come on, Bunny. Oh my. I love that. My guy just turned his console off. I can't believe Hull have done us, done us that favor, man. The promotion race now for Leeds. Does that mean our final game against Southampton, we get promoted? We have a plus seven or plus six goal difference. I mean, there's no way uh, Ipswich are going to go to freaking Coventry and win nine nothing, right? So if we can win our game, is that it? Or do Ipswich have two games? Oh, never mind. They have two games left. Damn it, man. They still have a game in hand. Oh, God. We basically have to pray to God that they uh, lose one of their next two games. Well, it can still be the case, of course, if they lose against Coventry, but... Or draw both and we... we and Yeah, but there's no way that's going to happen, man. You see Ipswich? Dude, they score like three bangers a game minimum. 
They shoot from 40 yards and score constantly. It's outrageous. And if they don't, it takes like seven deflections and then goes in the net. That seems to like trigger people in ways. All right, let's do another 84 by seven. Why not? Oh, baby. I didn't even know who this could be. Oh my God. Okay, come on. Benny Blanco. Benny Blanco. Flip me, flip me, flip me. Give me Benny Blanco. Benny Blanco or Virgil, please. That's all I want. No. It's 93 rated. That'll help towards grinding Rio, I guess. Oh, nice. Never mind. We can go do Rio right now. Oh, baby. Look at those dupes. All right. Another 85 by 7. Here we go, boys. All right. That's it. I'm done for the day. Dudes, we've crushed it, man. We've crushed it in terms of pack pulls today. I got to call it. Seven hour grind. No. <laughs> well, thank God we just got rid of him in that other Rio squad, man. Oh, my Lord. Bunny's 95 or 96 rated team of the season packed. 94 Nani, who's 700k. Unbelievable. Countless top tier pack pulls. Amazing gameplay. I've got the I've got COVID or the flu, and yet we've managed to absolutely knock today's epi out of the park. I was really worried that today's content would be ass. So I'm very, very happy with that. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me. Um, I am gonna now on Twitch jump over to Manor Lords. We're gonna start a new world. Uh, with what we learned yesterday and really see if we can build a medieval empire and attack the the warlords around us and kind of take over the world that's my plan for uh for the rest of the evening i'm gonna hunker down gonna take my pants off and i'm gonna just get cozy and play some manor lords with a twitch chat so thank you guys for watching i love you i appreciate you and i mean to even the fifa guys on twitch 126 subs today man incredible we got some big raids from Matt hd and nepo um i'm forever grateful man that 11 years later on twitch and youtube i'm still getting this level of support from all you guys so thank you very much um we'll catch you guys tomorrow same time as always live for 3 p.m uk on twitch we'll start the recording around 4 p.m the rtg grind around 4 p.m both on twitch and youtube hope to catch you then and maybe we'll catch uh and or pack ben white tomorrow and continue the crazy run on champs we'll catch you on the flip side peace